legs. Uh, you feel the weight of that. When you're down 12 foot, 10, 11 foot, you, you don't want no heavy. So no, you take 10, 11 foot holes into, into, into the tips? But yeah, I have to, uh, I've took 92 12 footers in the last 10 years in this tip, and about 10, 11 footers. Ah, I have a thousand foot deep on my eye. <laughs> Hello there, welcome to my latest metal detecting video. You tell them, son. You tell them. Um, I came in two or three nights ago and I suddenly had the urge to go metal detecting. I felt lucky. So I went out in one of the local fields, local pasture field, and I found a hammered coin, which in itself is rare enough around here. But this one is a reasonably rare hammered coin, certainly for this area. That one's coming up very shortly. And then last night, I had the urge to go detecting again. And this was about half 10, 11 o'clock at night. I was just getting ready for bed and I just thought, you know, I bet there's something in that field over the road. So, got my detector, went out with a torch and the video camera and I found a Roman coin which again, in itself around here, is very rare. This one was silver and it's a very old one as well. So, I'm ecstatic about that. I'd never found a silver Roman coin before that point and this one's a good one. So, stay tuned and you'll see that as well. That looks like a lead token. It is. What a belter. What an absolute belter. I'm not going to rub it too much because uh, it has a habit of wearing off. That looks like an absolute cracker. It's certainly the best lead token I've found. Excellent. Absolutely great. I've given that lead token a little bit of a clean up. Basically just gently rubbed it. And that looks like an anchor. There's the top of the anchor. Uh, and there's definitely a rope going through it. I would say it looks like an anchor. And that's the other side. What a great little artifact. It's getting near dark now. And I've got something in about four or five inches. It was reading right in the middle of the screen. And it's possibly a coin. Definitely a coin. It's got US on there. Just try and focus that a bit better. That's awful. That's it. That's better. I can't see what it says. It's definitely silver. Possibly hammered. I'm going to have to clean that up. But I'm pretty excited about that. It's definitely got some detail on it. So here's a close up of the first great find that I made a few days ago. Not sure how well that's coming out. Actually, that doesn't look too bad on the viewfinder there. But that's a Philip and Mary Groat. It's only got one bust on there, which is Mary. Because in the denominations up to a Groat, there was only room for one bust. So only Mary went on. But it does say Philip and Mary down the side. The higher denominations had Philip on as well. That's the back of it. That's not too bad, it's got a shield on. And that coin is from the mid 1500s. So I'm very pleased with that coin. Very pleased indeed. And then when I went out last night, I made some pretty decent finds apart from the Roman silver. And when the silver came up, I didn't let myself get too excited, but I kind of knew it was silver. The signal was reading 10.35 and by the looks of it got an old penny more than likely Victorian judging by the state of it Tiny little musket ball from a pistol, flintlock pistol Hmm, now that looks like a bag seal. Yep, definitely a bag seal. See the 
Little holes in the side there. Doesn't appear to have any writing on though. No. No. Yeah, it looks like a... Ooh, I would say judging by the thickness of it, probably is a Georgian halfpenny. Ah, there you go. It's another bag seal. Ah, uh, that one's got a bit writing on though. That's good. There you go, there's a close-up. Just about see some writing around the edges there. Sometimes got some nice patterns on them as well, but that's a reasonably plain one. Well, I don't know what that is, but it's possibly a hook from a pantry or something for hanging meat up. Very tactile, it's lovely to hold. It's a nice shape that. There's something else just caught my eye down here. Looks, I don't know, looks to be a piece of black shaped glass. Or maybe it's plastic. No, it looks like glass. Not sure what that's off. It's an interesting thing to find. I found it in the same hole. It was right next to that fella. The old pro pointer's about knackered. I think you could do with some more batteries. Ah, this might be a lead token. That's definitely something on there. It looks like a stamp of some sort. I don't know whether it's a deer or a lion or something. And it's got some writing on the back. It's looks like 698. Or 869. I'm not entirely sure. Doesn't look like your typical lead token. Definitely got something on there though. Either a bear or a lion or something or other. If I had a hazard a guess, I would say lead token, although... I think it's maybe it's just a fancy bag seal. Yeah, it looks like it's been something passed through there. And through there. So it's maybe it's just a fancy bag seal. Now oh, there's a wonderful sound. Oh, it's stopped now. There it goes. Female fox shouting for a mate. Pretty blood curdling. No, then I'm not sure what that is. It was given a signal of 11.40 and it was fairly constant. Actually, it looks to have a, a head on. Definitely looks to have a head on. It was given a signal of silver. Ah! Now, I don't recognise that head, but it looks to be I don't want to see it, but it looks to be, I hope, a Roman silver coin. I won't know until I get it cleaned up and I don't want to rub it because I'll get into trouble. That definitely looks very Roman. It's definitely a Roman nose on there and it looks to have quite a lot of detail so I'm pretty damn excited about that. Pretty excited indeed. Hopefully it'll clean up okay and you'll be able to have a look. Very excited. Very excited indeed. Excellent. And it was right on the top. Not even an inch under the ground. And although I do live near a small Roman fort, this is the first Roman coin, I think, that I've found anywhere near my place. 
and it looks to be a good one. That is the Roman silver. That's reasonably clear. And that's the Emperor Tiberius who reigned from AD 14 to 37. So this one's knocking on for 2,000 years old. Which is just unbelievable. That's definitely the oldest hammered silver coin that I've found. The back of it isn't too good. That's the back and it's got Livia seated. You can just about make out a figure sitting down there but the back's not too good. But I'd rather have a scabby back and a good front. And that's the front again. Certainly quite a lot of detail for a coin that will have been shaken around in somebody's coin bag and then turned over in a field possibly for the last 2,000 years over and over again getting ploughed in, ploughed out, ploughed in, ploughed out. Very pleased with both those finds. My detecting time is at a bit of a premium because uh, work's so busy at the minute. I'm digging ponds day and night doing a load of stuff on eBay and on the internet as well and that really made two of my nights this week. Excellent. I'm going to stick these lads in the collection and I'll probably use them in part 10 and part 11 of worldwide metal detecting finds. Thanks for watching. The Devil Rides Out. Now I've copied, I've never copied any Millie, but I read a book called The Devil Rides Out by uh, Dennis Wheatley about 30, 40 years ago. Mm -hmm. And all I've done was copy the title. I never ever copied off anybody on earth. I think a hundred things he said. It was bit outside and the snow had fell and the earth was as hard as the hubs of hell. The town was deserted, there was no one about. The type of night when the devil rides out. There were tracks in the snow and up on the roof of the devil's trademark, the cloven hoof, and on their tattooed on his breast was 666, the mark of the beast. They came on an earthy shriek so far yet so near, as the sitters they cowered and shivered in fear. Look ahead behind you and tear great care, for isn't that the sound of the devil out there? Watch out for the window in case his shadow should fall, and silhouette his features in the bedroom wall. Hurry, hide in the cupboard, quick under the bed, while you quiver in terror, and your heart beats with dread. He's after your soul, you claimed many before, so whatever you do, don't answer the door. Then a tap on the window as you scream out in fright, but it's only the sound of the wind in the night. And then a loud crash as your heart must the beat, it's only the wind blow the wind down the street. The wind gives you shriek and an unearthly moon, and you've no one to turn to, for you live on your own. What's that scream out there, listen, hark, as a candlelight flickers and you're alone in the dark. You lie out the ass cock alone in the gloom. Listen, is that someone else in the room? You pray and you wish you had never been born, as you lie there and tremble and pray for the dawn. Be where's you lie there and shake in your boots. Watch out for the devil, for he's after recruits. <laughs> 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 oh, I've got hundreds more.